Well, years before the interstate, getting across the country usually meant boarding a train. One local railroad enthusiast is working to preserve that history down in Flippin, Arkansas, of all places. In tonight's Milo's Arts, KSPR's Doug Magnus takes us on a trip through the past on a 1948 Pullman train car. People today don't understand what uh, the impact was that railroads had on, on our country. It may not look like much now, Here's the end of the yard. but it's over six decades old. This was the lounge. Back in the 40s and 50s, getting a ticket to ride on this train car was a status symbol. But I can guarantee you there was probably some pretty notable people that rode on this car. In 1948, the Pullman Company created a set of 16 train cars to supplement the New York Central's Great Steel Fleet. Some of the trains this, this, this car would have run on would have been some of the more premier trains on the New York Central. One of those cars, likely the only one left, is the Mirror Lake. This is kind of a neat little feature most cars didn't have. This was the train telephone. It offered some of the most luxurious amenities. Built-in solid stainless steel refrigerator here. Available at the time. These are kind of like dorm rooms, huh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But these were pretty nice accommodations. I mean, there's, there's bedrooms smaller than this that you could have traveled in. Moving first-class passengers from New York to Chicago and New York to St. Louis. It's John Suscheck's labor of love. My goal is to restore the car to its original uh, to appearance. What could take over a decade, he's working along the tracks in downtown Flippin, Arkansas. When we're working on stuff down here, we get people stopping by all the time wanting to see the cars and asking us what we're doing. And so we're kind of a novel thing in downtown to go look at. Now a town that was basically created by the tracks has a piece of history that made the tracks a good buy. In Flippin, Arkansas, Doug Magditch, KSPR News. Wow, Suscheck says he won't be done working on the car, as Doug just said, for about a decade. Once he is done, it should have nearly all of its original materials and even run on the track. That's pretty cool, but he says he still doesn't know what he's actually going to do with it once it is working. But he does say it will probably be worth about a half of a million dollars. Probably worth all the... Looks like he's putting a lot yeah. of labor into that thing, too. I was to say, priceless to him, I'm sure. Drive through, flip, and check it out.